Welcome back to TOSA, here on Discover Wisconsin. So, we've learned where the adults like to eat in Wauwatosa, but what about the kiddos? Turns out, Wauwatosa is a huge hub for kid-friendly activities. Today, we'll grab the kids and hit up some of these action-filled spots. But, before tiring myself out too quickly, I knew I had to get my fair share of what the kids love best, sugar. Which leads me to the first place kids love around here, the donut shop. My name is Joey Cariotti. I'm one of the co-owners of Cranky Owls. It's me, my aunt, and uncle. And we've been in business for just shy of 22 years now. My aunt and uncle started this out of necessity. They are driving back to Chicago. They stopped at a TJ Maxx store. A woman couldn't find her car. They helped her find her car. And then what happened is she wanted to give him a gift, pulls out a box of Krispy Kreme donuts, gives it to my aunt and uncle. My aunt turns to my uncle and says, you're making donuts. But we've been in this location since 2006, and we make fresh hand-cut donuts every day here at Cranky Owls. And people come here from all across the world to come have Cranky Owls donuts. So now that the sugar rush is kicking in, I'm ready for some real excitement. It's time for the ultimate toy store experience. A specialty toy store inspired by the kids of Wauwatosa. Ruckus and Glee sells unique products you won't find anywhere else. And the real kicker, you can actually run around and play with the toys. And Jackson here's got me beat, literally. Now, to really bring out my inner child, I grab my old college buddy and his family, all four of his kids are my god kids, by the way, and we hit up First and Bowl, an entertainment destination. First and Bowl houses football bowling, basketball connect four, darts, bags, and a Nerf arena. And don't forget to hit up the bar in the kitchen for some drinks and snacks. And if First and Bowl didn't tire us out enough, we figured we'd pile a little more on top of the day. On our last day in Wauwatosa, we end with the beginning, Hart Park. Named after one of the first settlers of Wauwatosa, Charles Hart. Hart Park has a playground, and a splash pad, a skate park, a tennis court, a football field, and an outdoor track. Okay, so clearly not my specialty, but whether you believe it or not, there is something at Hart Park that this guy is good at. The great sport of curling. This is the Wauwatosa Curling Club. We are currently celebrating our 100th anniversary. This is one of the very first indoor, refrigerated, dedicated ice clubs in the country. The second oldest in the United States and the oldest in the Wisconsin region. The Wauwatosa Curling Club is a 100% volunteer run club. We have a membership of about 300 people. We have folks from all different walks of life. And as we say, before and after every game, good curling. It's been an absolutely fantastic time here in Wauwatosa. We got to check out some beautiful parks, taste some phenomenal food, check out amazing retail stores, and we got to see what the kids are up to, and that was a lot of fun. So now it's time for a little Wauwatosa history as I say goodbye with my friend Jeff. How would you summarize the history of this city? I think the Firefly is a great image that really characterizes almost 200 years of Wauwatosa. The Firefly helped guide Chief Wauwatosi and the Menominee and, and Potawatomi uh, um, Native Americans through uh, their villages and through their hunting. Ever since that time, the Fireflies, I like to think, have guided us through the fire and the construction formation as a city, the redevelopment that's going on now. The Firefly, to me, really shines a light on our history and on the amazing people that allow us to keep living that history as well. So the Firefly really summarizes, I think, what uh, Wauwatosa's history is all about. Here's to Wauwatosa. Yes, here's to Tosa.